early because I'm ready to go. Uh, my I changed my Steam my stream key stuff, and then uh, I didn't change it on this computer. Changed it in the other one. Hey Ziggy. Hey Kate. What's up? Um, so it was a little a little tough getting started. I I tweeted quickly and then, you know couldn't get the stream up so apologies if you've been waiting um i'm gonna take this thing off so uh boiks i haven't forgot about your request i'm combing through the judge dread stuff i read through judge dread case files volume three we're gonna work on judge dread case volumes uh volume four i'm gonna select out of there um there's a couple pages in in number three that i thought were really good but uh, I don't know if we're going to do pages or covers or what, uh, but something something dread, something classic. There was like some wild stories, you know, because you, you're in the Discord, but uh, I've been posting like some panels here and there from, in, from dread that have been nuts. Choice, choice panels, choice panels. Um, and uh, Barry Colors submitted a portfolio for review. So we're going to... We're going to do that, but whew, I don't know, guys, something's, something's kind of coming over me. Oh, what? I don't know what that was. We're going to, we're going to do a portfolio for review, but I'm having trouble, having trouble thinking straight. I, I, I don't, I don't know what's happening to me. The madness, the madness is taking hold. That's because we're doing some Shade the Changing Girl stuff today. Shade the Changing Girl is part of the Young Animal line. If you don't know, it's Gerard Way's line for uh, DC Comics. Boom. There it is. Right there. Um, Shade the Changing Girl Volume 2 comes out February 6th, I believe. February 6th. And Cave Carson comes out, I think, the week after that. So it's back to back. So with the blessings of marley and of uh kelly we are going to remix a little bit and hopefully kelly will have time to remix the cave carson page so we're gonna we're gonna swap colorists just for a single page put a little bit of that put a little bit of that cave carson flavor into shade the changing girl and vice versa so let's get to it let's embrace the madness this is a uh, from issue three, page one, this is not in the second volume, but, uh, you know, it is, it is, uh, shade nonetheless. It's her staring into this pool. Um, I don't know if you guys have read shade or not. Um, hey panda, but, uh, shade, shade is real, real good. You guys should read it. I don't know why, I don't know why you're, you're sitting around. So these were the original flats that um kelly fitzpatrick used when she uh colored this page she still had the original flats because uh unlike myself she does not burn bridges as she goes by them <laughs> uh she she asked me for some original flats for uh the cave carson pages when we were shooting around this idea and i did not have them so we're we're kind of rolling with with her original flats uh i was not able to give her mine which means i may have given her a little extra work and i apologize <laughs> but uh shade's real good it's about um it's based on the old vertigo title uh shade the changing man and it's about um alien madness coats and uh a girl who uh comes back from a coma after uh drowning in a lake hence the water theme that we have going on here we're gonna do um we're gonna do some fun fun stuff though we're gonna do some cheat codes we're 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 not gonna play by the rules because look if we're gonna go if we're gonna go full cave carson we gotta we gotta come hard you know like cave carson is about interchanging patterns and that sort of thing and um it's about like wild color schemes so 
let's warm up shade here and then let's cool her down in the oh that's gonna do both that did both uh so berry colors I got your portfolio. I'm not ignoring you. We're gonna literally hit you up next time. We're gonna do a little critique before we uh, start the stream. Um, that's probably gonna be a long one because we're gonna be doing a critique as well. Um, so we want to do maybe we'll do like a green tile on the side here. So this is like a a swimming pool that she's looking into. And we want to make it the water look like water. And this is going to be the challenge. This is going to be like, this page is going to like live and die by, by that whole thing. Um, so we're going to, whoa, that is too green. So that's starting to look right. Let's see if we can, we can frame her really well by darkening this up. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit better. We do a little bit more green here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Maybe we can even. So, like I said before, we are throwing in that cheat code. Everyone needs to, right now, uh, take Photoshop out of your Nintendo 64. Um, blow on the cartridge and then uh, attach it to the game genie provided for you and then clip it back into the console because uh, we cheating now. All right. We out here and we cheating. Um, we're going to use, uh, I have these textures that I've used kind of off and on because I don't have a whole lot of use for them, but these are textures that I lifted forever ago of water and cave Carson <laughs> I appreciate the effort on that Kate <laughs> gonna color like the Konami code yeah so these uh, these textures are gonna be real, super useful but um, I don't know if they're big enough so we're gonna we're gonna try out some Photoshop black magic here and uh, get into this stuff we're gonna start we're gonna start cheating. This is the same way I beat DuckTales, by cheating. Um, nah, man, you gotta use all the tools available to you, right? Right? I think so. So we're gonna darken it up. Um, let's actually, let's, let's put some cuts onto shade on her face. We're gonna do some subtle stuff because we're not gonna go too, too crazy on it, but we are going to use that water texture a little bit. Cheating at DuckTales, you're done with this stream. Cheating at DuckTales was the only way to beat DuckTales. It's impossible. It's, it's improbable. It's not a thing that can be done. Show me a speed run of DuckTales and I'll show you a liar. I'm I'm a I'm combative on this stream. Maybe it's a good thing we are not doing a uh, <laughs> Barry Colors is is portfolio. We got we're getting combative. So we're we're gonna do just like our normal cuts. We're we're just like adding in a sh we're adding in a shade. I don't even these things just come to me. but obviously it's like warped from the water, which is why we got to be like kind of subtle with this stuff because um, if we do like a hard shade on this, uh, it's going to look too purposeful, you know? Like it's got to look ethereal. It's got to look like water. So we're going to, we're going to do that. And uh, 
the shade books actually don't use a whole lot of like um, shadows or knockouts, but we're throwing that out the window because we're cave carsoning it. <laughs> Just do what you do. Still try twenty years later. Yeah, you're gonna be trying for a lot longer if you're still trying to beat Ducktales. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's, uh... Because I want you looking here. So in order to do that, we are taking this blue and we're running it through the thing as a screen layer so that, like, this is kind of the lightest part mixed with the darkest part. Um, we're going to add this dark blue on the bottom here. It's prettier now since DuckTales Remastered, but it's still difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even bother. I was like, oh, cool. They're remastering DuckTales. Never going to play that. <laughs> Just don't have time to deal with that bullshit in my life anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna knock out the line art. That's the first step to all of this. Um, let's do that. Oh, we missed uh, the these little guys. We'll get them. We'll get them. Don't worry. P Panda's stressed out, apparently. <laughs> Am I moving too fast for you? Is that what's happening? You gotta strap in, bud. We only got one speed. And it's... Frantically falling. That is the speed that which at which we move. Frantically falling. Remember to cheat. I'm going to remember to cheat. We're going to remember to cheat. Um, we're going to render these tiles too. Uh, I don't know if the tiles would actually be green. Maybe they would be blue. A, like a different blue? Or maybe like a white tile? Or we can just do like a red. Like... That looks wild. Huh. Maybe we're rethinking it. Whatever we... Th okay, here's why uh, speed setting don't look at me. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> so, okay, the reason why this color is going to be important is because it's going to affect the color down down in the, pre in the next panel. Um, and it's going to affect, like, our decision-making down there. Um... If we were really like full on Cape Carsoning it, we'd we'd do like a pink like this. Um but I think we're gonna try something else. We're gonna keep it rooted. Because shade for all its insanity is like when the insanity coat is not like doing its thing, it's kind of um rooted in reality. So let's reflect that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should keep the keep the green. Keep the green. All right, we're gonna keep the green, but uh, I'm gonna show you a quick way to uh, do some some tile effects right now. We're gonna enable the cheat codes. Um, so you want to select the tiles with the with the black layer, right? Um, you want Cave Carson times a thousand? <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, select, modify, contract. We're gonna do it by like 15. All right, so now it's like kind of, there's like little chunks in here and stuff. That's fine. Um, they'll kind of look like imperfections. 
Uh, so, ooh, we didn't grab this guy, but that, that's all right. We won't go that far. Um, now we can kind of like, eh, maybe we should grab those imperfections. So all we did was select what we needed to do um, for the tiles, and then we're just kind of like putting a shine through them. Um, and that shine, that definition, is going to be enough to like make it visually look like tiles without trying to like render every single tile. But now let's render every single tile. <laughs> because we are in the grip of madness. Um, I read uh, the first volume of Shade when the uh, trade paperback com came out. Uh, I'm excited to read the second volume. Uh, I hope you guys pick it up. It's coming out in two weeks. Um, and then Caves is coming out right after that. And then we're on to the Milk Wars, which uh, I just did the Cave Carson Milk War. And it was a blast. The... Yeah, Shade is really great. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, the Milk Wars uh, thing that I just did, uh, Langton, Langdon, I'm temporarily blanking on his last name. I gotta, I gotta look it up because he deserves, he deserves all the credit. Um, he is the artist on the Cave Carson one, and who we made a good book. Uh, Langdon Foss. That is his name. And he deserves Yes. Oh, you're you're in there. Langdon's got fans in the chat correcting me. I don't I didn't need to look it up. <laughs> wild Dog for Life. Yeah. Yeah, Wild Dog's in the Milk War for sure. You think Wild Dog wouldn't be in a war? I think he would be. I think any war he could possibly be in, he would be in. Uh yeah, we I actually to promote um upcoming uh Cave Carson release too, I've got a I made a Chloe Carson playlist on Spotify like a while ago. And um if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna put all this stuff into the comments uh, or into the description. Um But yeah, I made a uh, I made a wild dog one. So uh that's gonna be coming your way soon so look out for that yeah we're doing a bunch of like cool stuff for to promote the um all the young animal stuff that's gonna be coming out so all right let's cheat so which looks better this looks like a little too zoomed in we might use this on our face down here but let's use let's use this let's try this so one of the things I like about this, oh man, we're gonna, it's gonna get real, real questionable because this is, we're really blowing this thing up. Like it's super grainy. Maybe we should not cheat. I really want to cheat. with uh, zip tones. We're gonna cheat anyway. This is just for the web. This isn't for print. We're gonna, maybe we should cheat better. Hold your tongue. I'll cheat any way I want. This is for the web, so uh, let's actually take this, copy it, fill the layer, Set it, set it up as the mask. Let's see how this looks. All right, so we've set up um, this new layer up here, and we set it up as the mask. So that was all very quick. And if you were trying to follow along at home, uh, we can back it up. Because <laughs> I'm gonna do it a little, actually, a little bit better. So, here's the here's the texture we want to use, right? But we only want to put it in the water. 
So we're going to select all of the water. Deselect the black stuff up here. Okay. We've selected all of the water. We've made our selection. We're going to pick a color for that we're, we want that shine of that water. So we're going to pick like a light blue, right? We're going to fill it on its own separate layer. You see that over here, over here on the right. Um, we're going to set it to screen. So now it's screened down. It's like overlaying in like a, in like a clear, like high highs are popping. Um, we're going to take this texture that's on this layer, this guy, and we're going to set it as the mask over here. So we're going to click the mask. We're going to copy and paste this guy in. into the mask. And you got to hit alt when you click the mask to select it. So we can get rid of this now. Now we're looking at this and we've, we've, we've done it essentially. So the light parts are coming through and the dark parts aren't. So we can, we can now tweak the mask to be however we want it to be. Um, can we, yeah, so we can tweak the mask to kind of mess with it. We're messing with the levels right now. And like, this is interesting, but I don't know if it's necessarily perfect. Um, maybe it has to do with the color that we chose. So let's tweak the color. I wonder if we use darker colors near the top, if it'll look a little better. Because it should disappear. Oh, yeah. We're cooking. We are cooking. Yeah, so the darker colors at the top like kind of disappear a little bit more than the lighter colors at the bottom. Um, and we could even go darker than that to see how it looks. Yeah, we out here cheating. Don't tell anybody. Um, let's tweak the hair, because we're going to tweak it uh, in the next piece as well. I want it to be... Uh, like, how the shade covers are. Um, Becky Cloonan does the shade uh, changing girl covers. And oh man, Becky is talented. I'm trying to figure out if this is this is probably we're just gonna loop all that stuff in. So sh Becky always knocks out the hair color. Whoa, that does not work. All right, let's make these like white. Yeah. Eh, it's not reading as well as white. Oh, with the white. Let's, uh, yeah, just darken it up. Do like a blue. All right. All right. This is looking good. I kind of want to, like, try to put some shines in the water. But I don't know how that's going to read. So I have, like, a... Speaking of cheats, I have like a cheat sheet for putting sh uh, shines and stuff in the water. Um, you're learning, you're learning all the cheats that I have, that I've acquired over the years. Um, if I can find it, I, I like barely use this stuff. I barely ever cheat, ladies and gentlemen. All I ever do is, is come across things genuinely. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh. We're set to multiply for some reason. All right, let's select the light color. So this is like a 
uh like kind of like dock at night kind of like light you know like i don't know if this is necessarily working for this um but what i like to do with this is just kind of like because the angle is a little weird is what i'm saying but what i like to do with this is just kind of like use it as a reference um and then like tweak it as we go kind of thing um we can take it and kind of like mask it off in ways that we want um or we could try we could try a different different stamp brush because i have like i have like a couple i think oh that's a tree <laughs> yeah oh this is the other one this one's like an even harsher angle yeah that one's not going to work at all <laughs> um all right let's see if we're we're actually going to use this or not now and we can change the the hue on this as well um but i don't know if this is this is going to work literally at all we're trying things out we're experimenting that's the name of the game Yeah, that's not. This isn't working at all. I've abandoned. Abandoned ship. Hey, man. I saw you. I saw you working hard. I was just hosting you. C N R House. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, thank you for the host. I missed that because I don't have my headphones on, and the sounds go through the headphones. But uh. Yeah, man, I saw I caught you working. For anyone who doesn't know, he's uh, uh, Connor works works all right. Okay, perfect. Connor Connor uh, is making a comic book and is like streaming all of the pages, basically, like practically all the pages, so you can watch him make like the whole book. Um, it's pretty rad. Uh, we're gonna tweak the hair a little bit. Add some. Add some lighter parts to it uh, yeah I think this is looking good but you know what it needs some uh, cave Carson zip tone so I think we've I think we've abandoned that I think we're gonna use this on our face Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to make it trying to make it feel like water. And you know, the toothiness of it kind of worked out. I think we're gonna add texture on top of that. This is gonna be like a freaking. We're not gonna do a lot of rendering, but we are gonna do a ton of layer work. Um, yeah, there's a thing, man. You should auto host me, Ziggy. I've known you long enough. Good lord. Um. So, all right, let's, let me think about what we're going to do next. I wonder if we should kind of make her glow a little bit in the water. Hmm. Maybe just the hair picking up a little bit of shine. Maybe the shoulders. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, some zip tones and stuff in a second. But before we jump into that, um, no video games uh, contaminating your page unless it's DuckTales. Yeah. We were trying to get uh, Sea of Thieves going uh, this weekend. Uh, if you guys caught my stream, if you were one of the, I think, three people wandered in and then wandered right out. <laughs> Uh, once they saw me trying to basically get into a game of Sea of Thieves and not be able to. Hey, Sally. Yeah, so it was just like me sitting in a waiting room talking to Boix and Kate and Magi and uh, just sitting there. Just sitting there. <laughs> um, so we're going to assume that she's kind of like lit from below. Um... Marley, 
did not really indicate she does like kind of like very uh very beautiful but very like kind of flat-ish line art um not f flat flat's not even the right word it's like um i don't even know how to describe it like it doesn't give me a lot of indication for um shadows i don't even know if there's a word for that but we're going to be like the only shadow indication that we have is like the sides of her head and like the inside of her hair. So, um, which I think is because she likes that aesthetic. She likes like the kind of like flat tone aesthetic, um, which I do too, but we are going to Cape Carson this thing. Which means we are embracing the chaos. So let's do that. Um, I think her eyes are brown in shade. I think that I think that's right. I think that makes sense to me. Um, I can't remember. You hate how much you want to play that pirate game right now. I was actually thinking. So um, it doesn't. Does it expire today or tomorrow? I think it expires tomorrow. Um, I might try to get into a single player game tomorrow if, if work holds steady. Um, but we'll see. Cause I, the only thing I got to stream, it was extended to Wednesday. Yeah. The only thing I got to stream was, uh, me waiting for a, uh, lobby to open up. That was it. That's all you guys got. And then eventually I got in, but like anytime I switched from the Sea of Thieves game to um, anything else, like it would crash on me. It would kick me out of the lobby. And I think that just like the servers were full and any hiccup that I had at all, like just pushed me out. Um, Trying to figure out this hair. We're going to figure out what we want to do with it. We might man i i was like we're gonna go outrageous and crazy and we might just end up making flat hair <laughs> um we'll see let's let's render the face so that we know exactly what we're doing first um i'm starting to realize like why shade looks the way it does because with so many options for rendering the face you know the the expression when you're playing pool? Um, oh, everyone's hosting now. You know the expression when you're playing pool and you're like trying to sink a shot and uh, there's a lot of table between the pocket or, or the ball you're trying to hit and your cue ball and it looks like a lot of green? This is how I feel right now. Like there's just there's a lot of green happening not literal green but but pool pool cue green we're talking about pools this we're coloring a pool it's a different type of pool i keep saying the word pool i don't know if this is any of this is usable we may never upload this <laughs> um so yeah it's kind of like um the choices that I make have a lot more uh, impact on the on the piece than uh, like simple simple choices. So if I make like a hard cut on this on this face, it's going to look like a hard cut on the face. Um, we're going to uh, we're making a lot of choices, is what I'm saying that we have to like really commit to, um, and it might be easier to just like walk it back, be a little subtle, you know? It may read better. Like, it may be better for everybody involved. Like, it may be better for the page. It may be better for um, the art, like, just to be, like, a little bit subtle. Fix Stillman. Fisk Stillman. My man, thank you for the follow.
Yeah. So now that I'm like into the nuts and bolts of a shade page, I'm like, oh, I get why it's colored this way. <laughs> it's it's making a lot of sense to me now. Kelly Fitzpatrick had a plan the whole time. That's the thing. All right. So. All right. All right. If she's lit from below, we get a lighter from below, which means that her hair will be lit like this. From below, like this stuff won't be visible, won't be visible. We'll still be visible, but like we're going to highlight this stuff. And the lines are so thin, so thin, so delicate that like I really got to be careful. Pixel Pixels count. Like I'm sure we're going to put like, yeah, this is starting to look weird as soon as we zoom in. Like. I got to be a little more precise than I am um, with Oming's lines because uh, Mike's got a lot of like darker black lines um, that are a lot thicker than Marley's. Um, so I can I have a lot of more like room for error. All right. All right. This is looking good. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to put these shadows down and see where we are, see where we're at. Uh, yeah. So. Anyway, Sea of Thieves, I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to do a stream like tomorrow during the day. Hopefully the servers will, will let me in and uh you know it won't be it won't be a shit show. We'll see. We'll see. Um I wrote on I wrote on uh Twitter uh <laughs> you still can't find it. You'll never host again. That was a lie because you just hosted. Um, yeah, I wrote on Twitter that I was like, "Hey, no matter what we're gonna what we're gonna end up doing, uh, I'll I'll play something." And all I played was the the twenty minutes of the thing. So basically, I gotta play something. Jones in. Plus, like we did end up playing. Uh, if you if you. Uh, Direct your attention to uh, the Boyks in chat um, or in the description below uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then uh, you'll find his stream and uh, we did we ran Sea of Thieves. I uh, might have been drinking a little bit of celebratory rum while, while, while uh, streaming that. Um, it might have, might have gone a little too hard. <laughs> I was very excited. Can you blame me? The game looks awesome. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Let's commit to what we have going on. Let's put like a warm shadow down. Ooh, ooh, did somebody just get the chills? Someone in chat did. I felt it. All right. Let's further figure this out. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna like you know the water is gonna be like kind of lighting her because you know how, like pools light up, kind of thing, and this is like a moment of anxiety for her. Um, the video definitely shows me at my best. It shows me, I think maybe best is the wrong word. Most ornery is how I play Sea of Thieves on that. Uh, yeah, it got, got real. Let me tell you, it got real. It got real dumb. Uh, all right. So she's blonde. So we gotta, we gotta make that read as blonde. So we're getting there. And we're going to knock out her hair just like it was above up here. So let's figure that out. <laughs> nice. Nice, Sally. Being full of uh, pizza and beer is a good thing. It was a good stream. I 
man, that game is so much fun. That's kind of also why I want to jump into it again with a little single player. All right. Let's pull this texture. Um, we're going to put it in the face. So let's try to figure that out. Um, I don't know why it's not. Oh, I'm not in the right layer. All right. I really should have made this selection earlier and saved it. Uh, but here we are. We're learning about ourselves and our selections that we have to make over and over and over again. Okay. So. We are going to put some highlights, some water highlights in. Let's figure that out. And we did it the exact same way we did it before. So, do we got to go dark? Oh my god. That was everything except for the selection I wanted. I mean, dark looks weird. We're figuring it out. Oh my god. This is a little too intense. If you have children, please remove them from the room. <laughs> yeah, I am a small business owner. <laughs> uh, I remember I remember trying to convince you to trust me uh, and letting you know that I was a small business owner. <laughs> yeah, blue man group meets shade. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to go the way we want it to go. Um, I wonder if it's the, the color that's throwing it off. Let's, let's trash that, that experiment. That experiment went awry. I wonder if we just, like, invert it, maybe? Set it to multiply? I don't know. Let's figure it out. It's like, multiply kind of works, but... The problem is that I'm like putting blue. Dash, she's a blueberry. What disease does she have? Oh man, chat is ruthless. We're experimenting. We're figuring it out. Um, yeah. This the problem is is that like the light isn't contouring to her face, and I don't know that we can really do that. So maybe we're not gonna actually put this kind of stuff down. Um, let's back it out. Let's back out of doing that. Um, you're turning violet, violet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's, okay. Let's add just like a couple of whispers. Everybody, everybody's ready to whisper. Um, so I got, uh, I recently got some new brushes. Um, I backed a Patreon of an artist. Whoa, Photoshop. Are you going to crash right now? My dude. We blew on the cartridge earlier. It's fine. You're going to be fine. Everything's fine. Don't look at this part. Um, so, uh, I backed a Patreon of, um, this person right here, uh, Chun Lo. She's a, she's a digital painter. Um, she, he, I actually don't know, but, uh, it was like a brush pack in there in the Patreon. So I was like, Oh, I'll, I'll nab those. So I've been like kind of looking for places to use it. So we're going to try to use some of these. We're going to try them out. If Photoshop does not crash, Wow. 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 
These brushes are out of control. I blame the brushes and not my potato computer. There's like a yeah, there's like a toothy brush. Yeah, that's what that's what I kind of wanted, but I don't know, maybe this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try some of these guys out. The thing is is I want like a nice brush that's going to like fade with the pencil. This one looks like it's going to do that. Yeah. All right, perfect. Perfect. We've done it. We're going to just add some like highlights under the nose. And then kind of like work them a little bit. This might, this, we are running the risk of like adding more marks to this might make it bad. Like that's a that's a real thing. Yeah, and we've entered that that area. We gotta we gotta back up. I keep trying to do all this extra stuff and like I just don't think that I just don't think the art needs it. Trying trying to add a bunch of extra extra stuff in. And you know, Mar Marley's carrying me this whole time. I'm like, please let me walk and she's like, No. No, I'll carry you. Don't worry about it. We'll get through this. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to at least knock out her hair because uh, I, I like doing that. I've been wanting to, to do a book um, with a blonde character with all the hair colored, but uh, I haven't had an opportunity to do that. quite yet maybe in the realm maybe we'll get there with 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 a character in the realm although jeremy doesn't like it when i knock out line art so maybe in cave carson is what i meant to say <laughs> we i just cracked uh the new arc of cave carson by the way it, it is totally awesome and i'm using a lot of it's cave carson has a interstellar eye so I'm using a lot of uh, star patterns and stuff like that. It's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, when I only see one set of footprints on the beach, that was Marley carrying carrying this stream. <laughs> All right. We, we actually don't want that. Are we selecting still? Yes. The selection is working. The selection is working and so are we. So I'm going to put this on a separate layer only because like I don't want to make the selection again and I kind of want to run a grad through this thing. So this is kind of like a placeholder right now. All right. Let's I kind of want to run a grad through this whole piece. Um, except maybe not the red dots. Uh, and I don't know if the red dots are going to stay red. Let's set it to multiply. That's darken. Judge him ruthlessly. Uh, oh, Marley's here. <laughs> Is it rude that you're watching me work on this? No, man. Come hang out. <laughs> no, your, your lines are perfect. Don't worry about that. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, I'm just trying, I like we've never worked together before, so I'm I'm mentally trying to crack it. <laughs> uh, rip him apart, man! 
for my own chat, you guys are not nice to me. So we're gonna we're gonna try to elevate the drama a little bit by uh, who we should maybe change the hair color because it's starting to not read as blonde anymore because we we just pulled that blue through it. Although maybe we shouldn't pull a blue through it. Maybe we should pull like a red through it. Um, you leave no guides, just precariously picked lines. Yeah, I was just saying that that like. You know, it's tough to the challenge of the line art is that like there's a lot of green in that like I, there's a lot of room for error. Like every mark that I make like shows up as as a mark that I made. Um, it's a, a unique and beautiful thing, though. You don't get to I don't get to work on a line art that's a lot that's like this a lot of the time. A lot of times comic book artists, including myself, like I'm in the, I'm in my discord posting sketch jams and, uh, it's all like, I don't know how to do this. Here's 47 lines to like f fake that. I know what I'm doing. And like, I don't know, your art isn't like that, which makes it kind of like delicate and beautiful. Um, anyway, let's, let's focus up. Enough, enough compliment slinging. Let's focus up. <laughs> yeah, just don't let them know about the cheat codes. Yeah. <laughs> all the options and all the errors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Kelly's here, too. All the eyes judging, nonstop judging. Uh, all right, let's let's figure out what we're doing with the hair. Cause I like this, but I don't know if it's totally doing what I want it to do. <laughs> All right, let's let's figure it out. All right, we're going to we're going to tread over the line art. After uh telling Marley that her lines are uh delicate and and really beautiful, we're going to say uh, nuts to that, and we're going to start doing what we want. <laughs> um, I'm just going to add like a little shine to the eyes. Give it like a little bit, make it feel a little wet, kind of, the eyeball. But we can't do too much. Like I said, we can't do too much because everything we do shows up. Yeah. I don't even know, like, this looks weird to me. I feel like we gotta, we gotta fade it in like a weird way. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I think we got to a good point with that. I think we're we're done with the meat, and now we're onto the onto the fun. <laughs> this is your pain too. You wanna you wanna up your line density. So that you're uh, staring at your pencils wondering why. <laughs> so you're just staring at pencils wondering why things look weird? Yeah, exactly. You're like, okay, I'm going to make three lines. 
how do I make three lines? <laughs> they have to be the perfect three lines. Um, so we're not going to go with red. We're going to go with something else. I don't know what we're going to go with. Let's just... bring this up oh maybe maybe like a pink maybe we are going full Carson all right let's tweak this by the way for any any of you playing along at home um, Kelly Fitzpatrick and uh, Marley uh, Zarcone I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, I do color in channels um, except for like special effects and stuff, the special effects are not in channels. Um, they are, their information is right under Photoshop right now. You can follow them on Twitter at the addresses below, uh, kitty coffee and wasted wings. You guys should do that. They post cool stuff. All right. So now... I'm still not happy with this hair. Like, it's almost there. It's almost there. I think we just need to, like, saturate it. When in doubt, saturate it, right? Maybe, maybe we just warm it up. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna add some zipatones and some some weird uh, registry stuff. So um, I do color in channels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I shout out everybody that like we work on, we do this with, and if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, links will be provided below for your convenience. Um, getting a dog has made your schedule wacko. I'm not coming to Emerald City Comic Con. Um, this is going to be the first year I miss it in like three or four years. But like I uh, would like to get married to my fiance and weddings are expensive. And also uh, I'm like within striking distance on my student loans so um expensive trips are kind of not on the menu for this year um getting a dog will make your schedule wacko i actually have to stream around my dog's schedule so uh what i like to do to make uh zip tones is kind of like just grab a chunk right make a new document put it in uh grayscale Discard the color information. Uh, do like a shade of gray and then just run it through the color halftone, which is up and ready to go because I've been working on Cave Carson. Uh, and then just copy paste that in. Um, not into there. We want to go over everything. Teach your dog to flat for you. If only you still have a little under four, 40,000. Yeah. Uh, I'm down to, I just got mine down to uh, 1900. Not 19,000, 1900. And I'm very excited about that. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's blow this thing up. Yeah, I'm like within striking distance. No joke. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. The dots are going to look weird. It's all right. Whoa, this is creating like a weird optical illusion with my eyeballs. All right.
My gut says yellow. Now, how exactly are we going to zip? What are we doing? Let me think about this for a second. It's, there's like, okay, so here's how I approach, um, here's how I approach doing zip tones for Cave, and we're going to approach it the same way with this. Um, with Cave Carson, I kind of try to figure out, like, what the heart of the page is. So, like, you don't want to like cover up where you really want to be looking and where you want to be looking is like here and here like this is the heart of the page and I also like to repeat patterns so if I can like and I also you know shade is about circles so let's make circles like something like this um, and then let's maybe so it's kind of like a whisper of the top of this circle you can like barely see it yeah it's like barely coming through uh, we can fade it just a little Um, let's actually keep it up here. And then also keep it down here. Uh, I don't know if yellow is necessarily the right play. What if we, what if we multiply? What does it look like? I kind of like it multiplied under the water. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work for everything else, but um, for this, let's try it. Let's play with the tone. Twenty twenty five. Yeah, they tell you what is it like twenty years, twenty five years after you get out, something like that. Um, I've been trying to like aggressively overpay. Um. All right, what if we took all the lines? What if we set it to screen? Took all the lines. And we just rainbowed that thing. This is this is Cave Carson at work here, after all. Let's trip this thing out. Did like an overlay? We're getting there. Hmm. I don't know if this is where we want to be. I think about this for a second. Yeah, 2025 is daunting. Man, how old will I be in 2025? Uh, I'll be in my 40s. <laughs> That's a little bit scary. 25 years is like a house. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it's not like a house. It is a house. Um, what if we, what if we backed up? Do I still... All right. What if instead, instead of trying to create verticality with the circles, what if instead So I'm only sending this to multiply just so I can see what's going on with the page. Um <laughs> House is 30 by default. Yeah. Man, oh, 15 years. Yeah, you can math. It's fine. So, uh we're going to start using uh this is also something that I like to do on Cave. Um I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on. Hold on. 
So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's it's a clear. This is called the French curve. Um, a lot of artists use them to make curves. It makes all kinds of curves. Um, comes in like a set with like a bunch of other curves. I don't know why I keep saying curves, um, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of just try to like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you think I you think I do this half-assed, Kelly? Nah, man. I did a shade background and everything. Promoted the book at the top. Yeah, yeah, it's French. Don't worry about it. Um, this one's actually might be a little too subtle. Do I got another one in here? In here? I might. I might. Yeah. Um, maybe we try to make them like like waves. So Photoshop for all its great things that it does, I haven't found a good way to make a selection with a curve in it. And so we're going to try to figure that out now. So I'm literally using an analog tool on it right now. You've never heard of this tool? Yeah, just look it up. Uh, French curve is what it's called. So let's add to the selection. We are not adding to the selection. Sorry, I'm not talking during this. It's kind of taking all of my brain power to kind of manipulate a a tool on my screen, like like a dingus, and I'm still kind of doing it wrong. Um, but that's all right. We're getting there eventually. Um, yeah freedom curves in here only please oh my god <laughs> all right so let's use these zip tones it's making like a crazy shape on this thing and i kind of love it and i kind of want to roll with it um it's doing a weird thing with the shadow though i don't know if that's necessarily good or bad let's let's tweak it Oh no, that was not the tool to use. So it has to be like zoomed out in order for me to like effectively use the tool. I don't know if just splitting the shadow is going to work. Kind of. Let's uh let's make some more waves. You guys dig it? Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm like trying to, this is what a lot of my time in Cave Carson turns into. Me just being like, is this, is this good? Is this composition good? I can't tell if this composition is good. Um, yeah, this looks, this looks like we're, we're heading somewhere. It is good for twirling around your finger. Will that scratch the screen? Probably. I have a screen protector on it. Like, I gotta get my money's worth, right? Uh, I actually, I need a new screen protector on that thing. Um, feels weird using that stuff on a display monitor yeah it does feel weird but like there's no other way to get like really good curves in a selection 
Um, until Photoshop like adds something crazy, it's really the only thing that we can really that I can really do. And it's not even like I need to do it for every project. It's like really only very niche things like this. Well, not I mean this, but like I don't normally do this. But for like cave, uh, I do it a lot. Yeah, there's a protector. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a protector on the small one you bought from me. Yeah, because I like to keep the stuff that I own nice. <laughs> um, let's duplicate. So we just duplicated the the zip tone. Um, we are going to pull the cyan out of it, I guess. Let's see how that looks. We're going to just move it a little bit. Give it kind of like um, an off register kind of thing. Um, we can play with the color in a minute. Um, P Photoshop has a built-in French curve. Nobody told me. And you know what? I'm going to blame the chat for that. Uh, if it's got a built-in French curve, I've never used it. I'm going to look into that. Um, maybe just the magenta. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Um... Also, we might want to, okay, we're going to go full Cave Carson weirdness on the bottom panel. So we've already like knocked out the line, the line art for the circles and stuff in the back. Um, I'm totally down with everything that's happening with this. Uh, the yellow and the pink's working really well together because uh, they're opposite on the color wheel. Um, Let's, let's, oh God, Photoshop, please. Let's kind of do a action burst thing. Um, Poix's fault. Uh, uh, good large hand. Yeah, I mean, Cave is really all about like, the large design elements that we create within it. Um, like a lot of times Mike will put like weird design elements in his, um, in his art, like in his layouts and stuff. And uh, I'll just kind of roll with it. This is not turning out the way I want it. Um, and I'll just kind of like roll with what he's put down. Like basically just he, he writes it down and then I put it in bold. Um, yeah, he's like, he's, I'm working on a page right now where it's like, so it's less a panel border and more just like a visual element within the page. Um, it's, it's wild. Uh, and then like, so I'm taking and, this stuff is like not easy to work with. It's it's like uh, I wouldn't have it any other way because it's like really unique and uniquely him. Um, but it's like you can't treat it like regular comic books. If you do that, then it starts to uh, just kind of like not really work as well. Um. All right, we're trying to find out like where the warp should be, by the way. And we're not going to use the full, before you guys jump down my throat and be like, you're ruining the art, uh, we're not going to use the full screen here. Um, all right, all right. Yeah, especially his black placement. Yeah, he's, he's like... I feel like Oming does not get the credit that he necessarily deserves as, as a person who has like worked on his art for a long time. When you look at it, you're like, Oh, uh, he's, 
you know, drawing these blocky figures and this looks easy. I could probably do that. But like where his brilliance lies is like not only in his like regular style, but like in his in his cartooning, like he's definitely brilliant at that too. But like in the like his layouts and the way he's thinking about the page as a design element, which is why I was like, when he started working at valve, I was like, okay, that's a weird thing. Uh, because like, I felt like he thrives within comics, you know, like he's, he's a comic book guy. I don't, I don't know. Like, whoop, that is not what we wanted to do. We did not want to clear that whole thing. Um, yeah, so I don't know, but I can't I can't picture him like like most comic artists that I love. I cannot picture him doing anything that is not comic book art. Um it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like he thrives specifically in yeah, in the storytelling that's unique to comic books. So we just made giant eyelashes, I think. That's okay. We're going to roll with it. This book this book does have a a, a girly art team, so we're we're making giant eyelashes because I'm a male chauvinist. That's what's happening. Twitter, please. I got this. I've already put all the the, the hate on myself. <laughs> you see him like Mignola? Yeah. Yeah. He fits he fits in that Mignola kind of uh <laughs> He fits in that Mignola kind of like wheelhouse. I don't know if we're gonna keep this. It's not done yet. Get out. <laughs> Just get out. Don't tell Twitter. All right. So, like, I kind of like it, but I think maybe if we're covering up uh, Marley's art, we're in, a, we're in the wrong headspace. Let's make careful selections. You spent twice as long as you on this. Yeah, uh, I tend to overthink things. <laughs> um, all right. Are we done? Has the madness worn off? Should we keep it normal? Keep it overlay? I think we're gonna screen it, but then we're gonna duplicate it and then uh, drop it down like 30% and like put it on normal just to get like a little bit of color in there. Um. You like it normal, the white? Well, too bad. We're, we're putting a little bit of color. A little tasteful. A little taste of color. Um, we're going to do another screen layer because uh, we, we haven't done enough layers on our working in channels situation here. Um, just add like a little bit of shine to the hair.
All right. I think... I think we're almost done. Almost. I want to add a little bit of little bit of zip tone up here. We're just layer after layer of special effects. This is basically <laughs> this is Cave Carson up and down the line. Just layer after layer of special effects. Um and one of the things I like to do is uh if it if the special effects overlap a little that's fine like i kind of like it like just just a little bit just a little touch of homemade if it if it's too like sterilized um i don't like that i like the the touch of an artist in there just just a whisper um so we're going to use this pink that we're using down below um, to kind of balance the composition on the top and then we're going to use a blue from up here on the bottom maybe a, maybe a lighter blue yeah yeah I think this is it um, yeah so Kelly Fitzpatrick is in the chat and so is Marley you should follow both of them on Twitter, their their information's right down there. But I think we've I think we're ready. Um, we gotta super black this thing. That's that's what we gotta do. Cause otherwise, it'll look weird. What if I tracked one pixel, not fifteen? Um. And we put a little bit of shines in there, so we're going to highlight those a little bit. Yeah, but I like the way this came out. We're doing like, so there's all this kind of like subtle stuff, visual ASMR. <laughs> there's all this kind of like subtle stuff that I like when, it hap when you start to layer textures. Um, and this happens in Cave a lot where like we're creating like a situation like this right here this specific one spot it's it's funny because like you'd read this book and you'd be like you'd be like okay she's looking in the water she's it's a shot of her okay you turn the page you wouldn't even think about this stuff but like for anyone like paying close attention like this little spot right here kind of creates this moment of like what is reality is the zip tone part of the art is it part of the gutter is it overlay it's overlaying the art it's overlaying the the like uh you know action burst but the action burst is also behind the character so it's like it's creating this like where's the foreground where's the middle ground where's the background kind of like motif um and i love doing that love love doing that in cave carson um I thought it was kind of fun doing this wave pattern stuff. I don't know if it's like better for it or if it like just works straight. That's the thing is like the, the lines are like so simple and nice that like maybe it just works like straight up and I don't, I don't need to do all this stuff. Maybe just like one or the other. Hmm. Maybe just one. If we're going to do just one, maybe just one. It's a the thing is is we're creating like by having it just be one, just the blue and not blue and green, um we're creating like a swath of color on the top of the page, which might be worth it cuz like it's a pretty bold statement. Um so let's make uh this on whatever layer it is the same zip tone as this that's up here. Um uh, yeah, the vertigo camera effect where they zoom in while the camera's dragged away. Yeah, the push pull. Yeah, yeah. Um, you like the blue too? Yeah, I, I like the blue too. The blue also is, is like, it's making this this feel like a layer. I don't know. Um, yeah, you're going to send me a page of the new book? You got, you got to play with some fun stuff? Cool. Yeah, definitely send me stuff. Uh, 
Yeah. So, well, all right. I said we were done. We're not. We're not totally done. We're gonna punch out this line art real quick, really quick. Guys, so so quick. Okay. So, as always, if you want to see this page not filtered through Twitch and and OBS and all of that, um, you can follow me. Uh, right, right up above me is uh, Twitter and Instagram. Um, guys, Shade, Shade's coming out. Shade Changing Girl Volume Two, right, right, right over there, over there. I got it. First try. Right over there, Shade Changing Girl Volume Two. It's coming out uh, February sixth, and then Cave is gonna be like the week after that. So Cave Carson Volume Two is coming. Shade the Changing Girl Volume Two is coming. Pick them both up. They're both worth your time. They're both uh, beautiful, artistic, like well-crafted comics. You will not be disappointed with them. They're both part of the Young Animal line. Get them. If you're picking up Doom Patrol, do yourself a favor. Try these out too. So anyway, we're going to get back to our regularly scheduled program. I think I'm pretty sure the madness is wearing off. I, I'm feeling a little better. Oh, oh. Yeah, the madness is worn off. What happened? How did I get here? What's going on? Oh my god, we did a... We did a whole page? How did this happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be back to our regular scheduled stuff. We're gonna do some Judge Dredd stuff coming up. Uh, Boyk suggested that. And we're gonna do our first ever portfolio review. Um, from Barry Colors. Uh, it's going to be rad. Uh, we're going to do that stuff later this week. Tomorrow, if I get time, I might stream some Sea of Thieves. If I don't, we might just do the critique. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I should be streaming pretty regularly this week, so you'll see me soon. Uh, and, uh, yeah, look for that. Look for the Shade page and look for the Shade trade. Uh, until then, guys, keep making comics. I'll see you soon.